Hi, my name is Karen. I'm of the Pond Gals. We're here at a pond in northern Indiana to talk about a common pond nuisance, floating weeds. There are two main types of floating weeds, duckweed and watermeal. Duckweed is the brighter green splotches you see down on the water surface. Each po uh, pod is approximately one-eighth to one-fourth of an inch in diameter, and it's slimy to the touch. The other is watermeal, and it is often mistaken for pollen sitting on top of the water. Because it is so fine, um, it's very hard to see on film. It's actually the smallest flowering plant in existence. If you were actually to have it in your hand, it would feel gritty like cornmeal. These floating weeds are definitely um, unsightly and can cause plenty of problems. Once you have positively identified that you have duckweed or watermeal, there are a couple of remedies that I can suggest to you. The first remedy that you can try is changing the environment in which the floating weeds enjoy. They thrive in stagnant, calm water. By adding a fountain or clearing some of the surrounding vegetation and or other trees can increase water and airflow to the pond and then will decrease the amount of floating weeds which you have to encounter. The second option is using an herbicide. There are two such chemicals that have been proven effective in killing the floating weeds. The first is Diquat. Diquat is relatively inexpensive, but since it is a contact herbicide, it may take several treatments and ongoing treatments to control the problem. The second is Fluoridone. Fluoridone is much more expensive than Diquat, but can provide control for much longer. Along with this, it has much more stringent water use restrictions to consider. I hope this video has been helpful in identifying whether or not you have water meal or duckweed. Remember, if you do decide to use a contact herbicide, or any herbicide for that matter, to read all label instructions and follow them. And I guess we'll just see you on the pond.